there, everybody. As you know, or as you may or may not know, there's a lot of stuff we don't get to cover during the podcast. Um, we record on Wednesdays and publish on Friday or Saturday. And so we don't want to be too out of date with our news. So we really only gather the news from Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some, somewhere in that three or four day range. And I've been thinking for a while of a way to, you know, put out small blurbs and catch everybody up with the news. And this, yeah, I guess this is my first attempt. We'll see if we can catch up the news, uh, things that we likely won't talk about in the podcast because it'll be too old by the time we record and far too old by the time we uh, publish the podcast. So here goes. Check this out. Did you guys know that <laughs> the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer, according to PC Gamer, is the most disliked gaming video on YouTube? It's an accolade that <laughs> nobody really wants, it, and it was such a blemish that it, uh, according to Activision here, you can see that it unsettled Activision's investors enough for Eric Hirschberg <laughs> to look up from CEOing and make a statement. His statement on the fact is, first of all, you gotta love the passion of gamers. This is an industry like no other and a fan base like no other. And we love that our fans treat this franchise like their own and have such strong points of view about it. There just aren't many entertainment franchises on earth that can generate the kind of passion that Call of Duty can, and that's a good thing. Secondly, of course, we know there are people in our community who are nostalgic for the boots on the ground style gameplay. That's why we made Modern Warfare Remastered. But we also have millions of people in our community who want to have new innovative experiences in the game each year, and Infinite Warfare is going to deliver that." End quote. That is a hot load of CEO spin doctoring, is what that is. It doesn't mean anything. People don't like it because it's Call of Duty Halo Edition, as Nate said. It, it's... It is something that somebody else has already done better many times. It looks hardly any different by the trailer. Mind you, it's a tiny sample, but by the trailer, it looks hardly any different from Black Ops 3, which was hardly any different from Advanced Warfare. You know, they're talking about six degrees of movement and other such like that, and I used to love six degrees of movement games, but not if I'm like, skittling around on a fucking... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. But people don't like it because they don't like the idea. Not because they're passionate. Oh, I mean, I guess they are passionate. And they're rather insulted at the fact that Activision has made the same goddamn game three times in a row. Super doubly jump robot suit Call of Duty Halo Edition. And what, what did you expect would happen? You know, this is... I didn't like it either. And like my brother said, Call of Duty needs a break. How long has it been since Call of Duty had a break? I can't remember. 2007? 2008? Something like that? It's ridiculous between what is it, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and what's the third one now? Sledgehammer, I think? Between the three of them, yes, it's an awesome cash cow, and Activision has m very good reason to keep pumping them out. But that doesn't mean you're not going to wear out your fan base. I mean, this is... There's a delicate balance to be found here, and I think they've finally tipped the scales too much. Who knows? We'll see.